you can't go wrong telling your in-group that it's victimized. I mean, you can't go wrong in terms of your stock, your standing, your status mm -hmm. with your in-group or the comfort of your life, right? Life is so much easier, so much more pleasant, so much more comfortable when you have good standing with your in-group and you can never lower your standing by telling your in-group how much it is persecuted and oppressed. Yeah, you see, I was conflicted. I was thinking, is it a good idea for like these members of the Jewish community? And I think they had somebody from Israel there as well on the stage, some ambassador or whoever it was speaking. I heard, I heard an Israeli voice and his, he was some official from Israel to speak. I was thinking, is this actually good for the people there at UCLA to whip them into supporting Israel? Now, now that this might be their natural proclivities, but there is this conflict going on over there. Of course, now we have Palestinian protesters coming out and you know arguing for their side but i was conflicted by what, what what is the claim here going on on the jewish side is it that they are in fear of anti-semitism on the campus or is it that they need to whip whip up their own crowd to fervently support israel and the two don't seem to necessarily be the same thing am i, am I making any sense yes and and this is a disappointing realization that I've come to, Stephen J. James, and that is that there mm. is no in-group identity without an accompanying sense of victimhood. So if your in-group identity is moderate, you're likely to only have a moderate sense of victimhood. But if you have an intense in-group identity, which has many adaptive functions, you're going to have an intense sense of victimhood.